Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Mrs. K's Art Room. I hope that you enjoyed last week's project on identity. This week we'll talk about diversity. 1 Corinthians 12, 12 says that although we are all different, we are one body of Christ. Just like the ears can't do what the nose does and the hands can't do what the feet do, in the same way, red can't do what yellow does, yellow can't do what blue does. But when we mix them all together, we can create something beautiful. For this project, you'll need thick white paper, shaving cream that's foam, you'll need baggies, and food coloring or acrylic, either one. Of course, you'll need a good attitude. Let's get to creating. Okay, for this project, we're going to start with three baggies. They're regular Ziploc baggies, nothing fancy, and our goal is to blend our primary colors into secondary colors. So you can use either acrylic paint, which I have here in the cups, any kind of acrylic paint. Just add a little bit of water to it so it dilutes it and it goes into the bag a little easier. Or you can use regular food coloring. So I have my primary colors here, my yellow, my blue, and my red. I'm going to start by blending my blue and my yellow to make what color? Green. So my shaving, you're gonna open it nice and big to make sure that the shaving cream stays inside the bag. Any kind of shaving cream, it has to be foam. No gel or else it won't work. It has to be foam, give it a nice shake. And you're going to put some in the bag the reason why we do the shaving cream is so that the colors are easy to see. I'll add a couple of yellow drops and then a couple of blue. Now remember these dyes stay on your clothes. So you want to be careful maybe wear an apron when you do the project. It's like a science experiment. You're going to close your Ziploc baggie nice and tight. Ooh, it's messy, I like it. And then you'll start playing with the food coloring inside the baggie. You can turn it around and see what's happening. It's turning into green. So our blue and our yellow are primary colors. Our green is our secondary colors. Now if I wanted to open it and add a little more food coloring, I could, or a little more paint, I could, to make the colors a little bit brighter. But when you're done mixing, it will look like this. And then you can do your red and blue to make purple. And then finally your yellow and red to make orange. These are fun because once you're done mixing, you can actually, let me move this out of the way, paint on a white sheet of paper. So I'll make a little hole now that I've created my purple color. I'll cut a little hole at the end of this baggie. And now I can just pour it into my paper or onto my paper. I can do that with all of the different colors that I mix. You can, with your finger, you can paint with it. Or if you don't want to use your finger, you can use a popsicle stick and you can keep blending your colors. And when it dries, this will look puffy and it will be all different colors. Have fun.